you get a video mm. and it's a minute long and you watch the first 15 seconds, you're like, fucking bored. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's a minute long mm. and I can't sit there. Would you say it's having a huge negative effect on us as a race because everything, because we have these smartphones? Let's talk a bit about social media. Yep. I don't know if that's become come up in any of your studies or anything. Uh, um, no, no, not per se, but I know we know uh, it's obviously an important thing these days. Yep. Would you say I've I've heard reports recently that it's it's affecting our um, some of our sort of like neuro skills, such as our uh, memory, mm -hmm. um, because everything's on our phone now, so we yep. don't have to remember anything. Mm -hmm. Would you say it's having a huge negative effect on us as a race because everything because we have these smart phones yeah i would say it potentially could have a very bad effect on on a lot of things mm. uh um things like memory obviously you know concentration attention all these things are affected potentially like if you spend hours and hours on a, on a screen and, and just looking at that um and then obviously stress just looking at a screen for hours can cause a lot of stress as well and, mm -hmm. and so yeah i think it does have a potential to to uh, be very uh, detrimental for mental health you actually kind of answered my next question, but I was going to talk about the the, the attention thing as well because mm. of apps like Vine and mm. TikTok. I don't know about you, CV, but I find myself now, Fiona said this the other day, you get a video mm. and it's a minute long and you watch the first 15 seconds, you're like fucking bored. Yeah. You know I mean, it's a minute long mm. and I can't sit there yep. and I can't... But whereas 10 years ago, I, I imagine if there was a 10-minute YouTube video, I'd yep. watch it all regardless. Yeah, yeah, do, yeah. Do, do, are you the same? Do you find that? I, well, yeah. It's, I don't watch, I don't use TikTok much. Right. But, but I see what you're saying. Like, the attention span becomes much more uh, uh, fragmented in that way. And and the thing is, uh, you know, in, psycho, in mental illness, right, mm. whether it be OCD, anxiety, whatever, one of the key features that you see is a uh, inability to have focused attention on things. Yeah. Uh, so in a, in a way, you are exacerbating those symptoms in a population of, 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 of people that are you are healthy and also people with mental illness. So by by making attention more, uh, you know, uh, fragmented in that way, you are in a way propelling uh, mental illness. It's, it's a really bad thing. I'm not saying that TikTok is causing mental illness, mm. but I'm saying uh, in our therapies, like the ones we develop, it's, it's focused very much on how do you train attention? How do you make attention more focused and stable and robust? And so you don't have all this uh, attention running all over the place. So, yeah. How can you train your attention? Well, you can think of attention almost like a muscle. And the more you sort of focus on things uh, intentionally and, and by so telling yourself. So in therapy, we might say, look, when you go outside, look at uh, a tree. And just pay attention to it. You know, when you are, when you have a mental illness or you're just stressed out, you pay, don't pay attention to things as much. But so we say, look, look at a tree, how beautiful it is. Okay, just stand there for a second and look at the leaves. And if, and imagine a leaf falling off and just sort of dancing and falling to the ground and pay a focused attention on that. Um, and then that way we sort of uh, train attention in that way. So that could be an example. Look at the, the, the clouds moving and just being aware of, of, of your, your environment mm. and being present. And so that's a simple way of training your attention to be present. And, and it can be drinking water. So we say when you drink water, right, you say drink water like this. Pay attention to the water, how your body feels, how, how comfortable it sort of, you know, uh, flushes down and stuff like that. Yeah. I know it sounds a bit weird, right? For for me to say, no, I know so, what you mean. But, it, but but that's what it's about. Because notice when you're stressed, <clears throat> when you're a heightened uh, sense of alertness, you tend to uh, not pay attention to any of these things. Your attention, your your mind is all over the place, you know. Mm. And so that's exactly what we're trying to to uh, train the the opposite to be more centered. I've been reading up about therapies and and, and whatnot recently, mm. and. Um, yeah, I read that there's like a, a a kind of technique that's like, look at five things, think about four things you can smell, three things you can touch, one, two things you can taste or whatever, and one thing you can whatever the other one is. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, that make that makes sense. What was you What was you going to say? Is that like how you said it's kind of like a muscle? Is it? Are those little things? Because if you can't focus on those little things you've yeah. definitely got no chance of focus and, and putting your full attention into something much bigger but if you can sit there and focus on the water on the tree and stuff like that you then might be able to get for a whole one minute video <laughs> or like yeah, yeah, is, is yeah. that all it is it's it's a way to think about it like that but it's just simply uh using those little things to to create that sense of attention focus so training attention to be to be more focused like that um and yes, I'm, I'm sure when you when you start being able to do that in these smaller situations, it can it can extend to 
to uh, watching long, longer videos and you, you train, so that muscle is more uh, trained. But the attention will also ultimately come down to interest as well, though, won't it? So, like, if, if like you had a mass, you really cared about like, the brain mm-hmm. and stuff course, like that, but yeah. if it was something that you might not have cared so much yep. about, yep. then you would you give it the same kind of attention or is it? It's a good point. So, and also, in, in when we treat in doing treatments and stuff in in our in our treatment manuals and books and and things, we talk about doing things that you enjoy. So that's a way of training your attention. So if I tell tell you, look, uh, Stevie, watch this boring clip of something. You you, it's harder to train your attention. Yeah. If I tell tell you, watch the best uh, movie or whatever you enjoy watching, right? Or play tennis or your favorite sport, and you're totally you're focused and immersed in that. Yeah. Then then obviously I have a better chance of training your attention. So we tell people go. Every day, do something you love and, and just be immersed in that. Just really lose yourself in that. This is a question I've just thought of, and it's probably stupid. Mm. Uh, and feel free to tell me that it's stupid. But why do we all have different interests? Why? Because we're all human, mm. right? So we're all ingrained to know that we enjoy eating, yep. know that we enjoy sex, drinking, all of these things. Why would Stevie, as you said, like tennis, yep. but I would like boxing? Like, is there a re- is there a scientific reason for that? Yeah, I think uh, culture plays a whole uh, huge role. So where you grew up, so like if you look at at, at Denmark, for example, where I grew up, uh, soccer was a huge thing. Mm. People love soccer. Uh, yeah, play football. I love football. I used to play it all the time. You know, as obsessed with soccer than I was about science in my early years. Mm. Uh, what position did you play? I was like the number ten. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> no, I, I was a good player. I was mm. a good play. I was a good player. I I I, I play a pretty good level. We'll have to put a happy hour eleven aside <laughs> team together, and you can play. You can play as our striker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the creative number ten, not exactly the striker, but sort of like, uh, yeah, the guy behind the striker. Oh, the nice! And stuff. Love that, love that. But so <laughs> yeah, I think it's the um, it's the culture plays a huge role. Mm-hmm. I think um, like so, if there's a focus on masculinity, uh, maybe there's a shift. For example, in the U.S., it's more American football, so maybe the, the focus on the cow- cowboy culture or masculinity it's slightly different there. Mm-hmm. So I think that uh, culture plays a huge role. Um, now, if you want to go even more deep, uh, I'm sure that hormonal and other things play a big, not a big, but at least some role, right? So if mm. you're ma- more sort of more t- testosterone and you're more masculine, maybe you like more masculine sports and stuff like that and, okay. and your upbringing and things like that. So I think it's an interaction and combination of all these things. But, but then what about if, if you have like twins and mm-hmm. they grow up and then they end up, one of them likes something completely different to the other. They, they have the same cultural background there, yeah. right? Well, if, yeah, so if you have t- uh, identical twins, right, so, and, and they are separated at birth, it turns out a lot of these, in a lot of these cases, they tend to have very, very similar interests, very similar. So that's a very striking, a new sort of uh, curious finding. So you would expect culture to play a huge role, but sometimes you find that twins that are separated at birth, you know, uh, one is one in Russia and the other one in the U.S., you, when they're older, you know, they get... Uh, you know, that you realize that, that that they have a lot of the same interests. They like the same, and it's very peculiar small things like they uh, like the same. Uh, they smoke the same type of cigarette or something like that. It's really strange some of these things how you find that that genes play a huge role. But but culture obviously is an important thing. But we shouldn't end, underestimate the the power of your, your genes. Oh wow! Why do we see bad things? Why is it never like a sexy lady with some chicken wings? <laughs> <laughs> No, no. Oh no, I have had sleep paralysis. <laughs> it's a good question. So, 